discuss the atomic theory and the development of different atomic models throughout the history of atomic physics. The first model we will talk about is the plum pudding model. This model was developed as an early theory for the atomic structure, describing the atom itself as a positively charged sphere. Yeah? So in this diagram you can see there is a sphere which is positively charged and then the negatively charged electrons were distributed all over it as currents in a pudding. Yeah? And then this model was not very accurate, it was met a lot of skepticism, but it was developed in the early theory of atomic physics by Th Thomson Plum, uh, which was called the Thomson Plum pudding model of the atom. Now, after that came Rutherford's model. Uh, his model was developed in the 1909 by him and two of his students. Yes. The two students were instructed by him to shoot a beam of alpha particles directed at a thin gold foil. And then their expectation or hypothesis was that the alpha particles will travel through the foil with a small change in direction. When they conducted the experiment, most of the alpha particles passed through the straight through the foil. However, some of the particles had slight change in direction and some of those alpha particles has b had bounced back off the gold foil. Yeah? This was the first evidence of the atomic structure where we know that the atom has a center or a nucleus and then most of it is empty space. Yeah? So his model was described like such where the center contains the nucleus and then around the center the electrons are scattered in this figure. And that is a representation of the experiment they conducted here. Yeah. Now moving on to describe the setup of the experiment they conducted. So the experiment needed a thin foil uh, of gold, okay, which was uh, represented here in this diagram around, around here. And then uh, the alpha particles needed a source where the source would radiate alpha particle and shoot them straight at the gold foil and then there was a detector screen or monitor surrounding the foil which was this ring that can detect the deflected alpha particles yeah? and the whole arrangement was placed in vacuum so this con compartment here has vacuum inside and does not have air particles so it does not affect the alpha particles from uh, going through the gold foil now the results of this experiment was that most of the alpha particles that would pass through away from the center or the nucleus of the gold foil will continue their the journey uh, traveling in a straight line and then if they get close to the nucleus they will experience a slight deflection and then if they are directed straight at the nucleus then they will get a great deflection and probably bounce back where they came from. Yeah? So that described that the atom structure was mostly empty and then the positively charged mass in the center exists which was the reason for deflecting the positive alpha particles. Yeah? After that model came the Bohr's model in the 1913 where Rutherford and Bohr model was developed by Niels Bohr and Ernest Rutherford to represent the new system of the atomic structure consisting of the very small and dense nucleus which is true in the Rutherford model however the electrons were described as the orbit the center or the nucleus as the uh, orbiting of planets in the solar system yeah and the structure of the solar system so the nucleus was in the center and then electrons you were orbiting the um, nucleus in the center of that atomic structure. Yeah? And then electrons were believed to have different energy levels or energy shells where they can um, jump from one shell to another or, or from one orbit to another by emitting or absorbing energy. And that is the model that we know today and we are relying on up to now.